Smith out there to get the day started under the sunshine of South Florida as Brashard Smith is back to return for the Canes and Xavier Restrepo will have it on the return here. Excellent coverage as the 12th man does his job. That's Sam Matthews. Lou Headley, Anaya Smith is set to return. Ooh. Oh, and they get after Joyce and it is bouncing inside the 20 and retreating near the line of scrimmage. As a and m special teams is off to a tremendous start. Lose his team the game. Daniel straight ahead, leg drive, and it's going to be first and goal, Aggies. And now looking to cash in. And doing so is Wigman. The touchdown run for the Aggies quarterback after Jade Walker came surging in for the block punt that served this thing up on a silver platter tree. But the learning curve is steep in week two when you're facing AM in your college career. Here is Young as he gets eight yards back. Wigman to pass, and here he is out of the backfield. And look at Owens go striding down on third and two for a chunk play and a first down Aggies. Wigman on third down. Shallow underneath. Looked like there was contact, and yes, the penalty flag comes in. Holding defense number 51. Ten-yard penalty includes an automatic first down. That's one thing I'll say. Bobby Petrino has always been good, no matter where he's been as a play caller. Daniel, short pitch. Able to get to the corner inside the 20 before he is taken out. Wigman. With time, shallow cross, and needs to get to the stick, but Evan Stewart was wrapped up and taken down. And with that, the Aggies are up 10-zip. Van Dyke quickly gets it out, and George able to weave his way for a first down. First first down of the game for Miami. With tempo, and there it is, Restrepo! stride Xavier Restrepo and you just feel they had to have it there's Parrish Fletcher blocking Parrish it's going to be first and goal Canes Van Dyke and there he is Colby Young touchdown Canes Miami backs off the pressure. Wigman steps up, and the lane integrity is lost, and that is exactly what you noted he can do with his legs. Moving right, just makes good decisions. And now quickly he gets it to Johnson, and Jake Johnson goes upfield as he was carrying James Williams with him. Constantino, his first punt of the afternoon. Xavier Restrepo, who changes jersey numbers to 47. It's Edger and Cooper. Was well, actually jumped on it. After the muff punt was recovered. Daniels finds his way and into the end zone. Amari Daniels. Gig him. Awesome job in the zone scheme by Bryce Foster at center. Third and six, here comes pressure, picked up by Parrish. TBD, little drag, and going upfield is Young, and plenty more as Colby Young will move the chains. And it's off the charts. Second and seven, Van Dyke wants to take a shot, and he gets it! Into the end zone is Isaiah Horton! Beautiful throw by Tyler Van Dyke! Two-yard touchdown. Well, they're working one-on-one. -on -one. It's Horton versus the true freshman Thomas that we just saw get beat on that drag route on third down. It's a nice little double move. Watch this. He just kind of breaks down, and you see Thomas just not able to get his feet. That allows Horton to get him behind him, and there's a nice catch. It's in two touchdowns. Trying to get to Restrepo, and finally he does, and Restrepo breaks free. And he's still on his feet out to midfield. Third and 11, Van Dyke, big strike downfield and incomplete. 
as there was coverage coming in. Defense for 28. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot includes an automatic first down. There's Van Dyke. Pressure. Ball comes out and falling on it. 54 to tie the game. Good strike of the ball, but it just leaks out to the right. Wigman, who's yet to throw an interception in his college career. Third and eight. He's going to tuck and run. Flags come down as he lowers the shoulder. Owens, the five-star recruit, trying to get to that edge. Good pursuit down the line, but his leverage took him forward. Win, so I feel like giving it over to Petrino is the best thing to do. Third and nine. This is Owens out of the backfield, but that was floating to him. Mexico, he had a kick block. And this just stayed to the right. Going to keep it on the ground here. And as Parrish able to spin ahead and get a little help from the big man. And Nez Cooper says, let me take my friend for a ride. Van Dyke. Great job with the protection. And coming back to the ball is Young. And getting loose and cutting back is Colby Young. And they are in business. Old and loaded. Van Dyke. 25 seconds to play. Strike down field. Again, Restrepo gets the foot in. Xavier Restrepo. Three-man rush. They drop eight. Van Dyke looking for an option. To the end zone. He goes. Touchdown, Canes. Jacoby George. The Van Dyke family high-fiving mom, Amy. She says Van Dyke. She says Van Jacoby George, who earlier today, Jesse, the muff punt that set things up for Texas A&M, comes up huge just before halftime. He wants to see more of what we saw in the last few minutes than what we saw at the beginning of this game. Daniels on second and three as he takes it out nearly to midfield. Wigman, quick strike and a first down to Evan Stewart, sophomore quarterback for the Aggies. And he will get the work here. Off left tackle and fights for the extra yardage and a chain mover. Wigman with protection. He gets it to Owens. Owens able to dodge that would-be tackler. Oh. There was movement on the left side of the line. And the Canes are pointing that way, and Jimbo's turning his head. All start. Number 60, five-yard penalty, remains fourth down. And with that, he puts it through. Rashard Smith on the return for the Canes. Attaches a scene. Here goes Smith. Would you look at what we got going on in Hard Rock, folks? to the outside, and that is caught by Muhammad. Yeah, I don't know what the attendance is, but this feels like home field again. And Whitman for the Aggies. Man goes down, and it is picked off. That is Kitchens, and here he goes on the return. Cam Kitchens, who last year had six interceptions, just served up Whitman with his first pickoff of his career. Wow. And Connor Whitman had never thrown a pick in his career. Van Dyke against a three-man rush. They drop eight. Plenty of time, but he's got to check down to Parrish. Parrish Woo! is tackled at the 17-yard line. And one of the best kickers in the country puts it through. The two programs that feel very good about the changes that they have made. Wigman steps up in the pocket in front of pressure and is able to connect to Noah Thomas. Wigman. Able to get this complete to the talented Evan Stewart. That's another first down. 
Wigman with time on first down, and he muscles the ball complete to Max Wright, his big 260-pound tight end. Set with Owens as the tailback on third and one. Play action, pressure on Wigman, lost it, catching it, and bringing it in his crown over. Oh, they leaked out the big back, and they get the touchdown from it. I got to be honest, Joe, I'm watching that live. It looked like Layden Robinson jumped early to me at the right guard from Texas A&M. Noah Thomas, big six foot six target. Snap, bobbled to the corner of the end zone. Stewart is out of bounds. So Mario Cristobal's group will keep it as a five point lead. The 19 yard touchdown reception moments ago. Third and one. Daniels. It's a quickly out there, and going ahead is Restrepo, and getting even more, and it's first and goal, Canes. They get it to George, and George strides in. Jacoby George. And there's something different in the air here in South Florida with this group of Hurricanes. And this is a play you see Steve Sarkeesian and Lane Kiffin use a lot. They kind of bring a receiver here in motion. DB follows them, and all of a sudden they swing him back outside and they get the tight end out in front blocking. It's just a little eye candy, a little misdirection, a little play fake, and just a lot of space to stay and play for Dawson. Second eight. Wow. Downfield gets it complete, and he goes to Cam McCormick, the big tight end. Old man Cam. Nine minutes to play. Play action. Van Dyke with time. Going to take a shot downfield. Back shoulder incomplete. And a flag comes in. And a guy that had a really good game last week. Defense, number 28. Van Dyke to pass. And gets the time. And coming back for it was Young. Short of the line to make. And he absolutely drills that one. A 50-yarder from Andres Borregalis, the third-year starting kicker. Land on his lower leg, but he's back in there. Whitman after the penalty. He's going to take a shot right away. And that ball is caught by Evan Stewart. Under six minutes to play. Trailing by 15. Whitman. A strike again and another completion to Stewart and another first down. Bobby Petrino looking on, calling the plays for Jimbo Fisher's team. Whitman with time again. Another strike and that brings in the penalty flag. Pass interference. Defense number seven. Gotta have it. Whitman to the end zone. Touchdown, Aggies. Noah Thomas, the big target, delivers. Watch 31 Bissane come in. Running back just kind of check releases, and that was a shot. I mean, when I saw that live. This would be a real gem for the ACC against the SEC as Parrish, with a good start to this drive, he goes for 12 yards. Van Dyke lofts it downfield, and it is caught by George, and he's still going. Jacoby George. to Anaya Smith. Wigman on third and ten as he quickly gets it out to Evan Stewart. Here's that corner cat blitz as he nearly lost his footing but somehow got it to Stewart as Stewart's inside the 20 and brings it down to the 10-yard line. Wigman fading back to the 20 and that ball is intercepted. 
That is to Corey Couch with the pick to finish off the day for Miami. Mm-hmm. <laughs>